There are so many ways to mock up and list your digital products for sale on Etsy. So this is by any means not the only way that you can list and mock up your products this is just my current workflow that works best for me and the amount of products that i am listing daily do keep in mind that i list about 20 digital products per day and my method depends on heavy design and category organization to keep this process as quick as possible so with that i'm just going to go ahead and hop onto my screen and show you my process process. So the mock-up generator or plugin that I use is called Bulk Mock-up and I did briefly show this last week in one of my videos and I will leave a link in the description um, below but it is a Photoshop plugin. So in Photoshop is something that you will have to have and then it um, is compatible only with smart object mockups. If you don't know what a smart object is, it just means that um, it's kind of this, I don't even really know how to explain it, but it's just this little functionality that allows you to double click this layer and um, insert your image and it will um, display in the mockup uh, correctly. Like I've said before, I'm not a Photoshop um, expert by any means and this is pretty much the only thing that I use Photoshop for um, but it works well and it is very very beginner friendly and simple to use so um, I wanted to show you first of all the store on Etsy that I do get most of my mock-ups from because they are already smart object enabled and it is called styled product mock-ups um, and they have pretty much every type of mock-up that you would need um, that is smart object enabled anything from tumblers to ornaments to different types of kitchenware drinkware coasters um, they pretty much have everything so once you have um, your mock-ups that you are going to be creating your products from or for uh, you'll want to go ahead and purchase bulk mock-up and it will just download as a zip folder and then you'll go ahead and in, they have a very quick video once you purchase it on how to install it within your own Photoshop. I'm not going to show that just because it is slightly different for Mac and PC users. So depending on what type of user you are, you'll want to go ahead and um, click that and then uh, follow the steps to go ahead and get that uh, plugin installed on Photoshop. So once you have your um, bulk mockup installed, you're going to want to go ahead and create three folders and I just have three folders on my desktop which are called designs, mockups, and export. Your design folder is where you want to go ahead and place all of your designs that you've created. So I already have a set of Christmas poinsettia designs that I'm going to go ahead and use for this example. And in your mockups folder, you're going to want to put all of the mockups that you want the designs to be mocked up on. So uh, for this example, I have the flat lay mockup, which is the one showing right here. And then I have two different versions of the skinny tumbler, which is this straight one right here um, that I'm going to be mocking it up on. So the next step, once you have all of your designs uploaded into your design folder, just like this, is you're gonna wanna go into Photoshop and just open Photoshop. I just opened this design or this uh, PSD file because I already had it um, or just in my folder ready to go. It doesn't really matter. Um, but then you'll want to navigate up here to plugins. And since you've already installed bulk mockup as a plugin, you'll just click bulk mockup. And this is where you'll see those folders that you've already created and set up when you installed it. Um, it basically just maps your templates to your mockups, your design files to your designs, and then your export folder is where they all wind up. 
So then you'll just go ahead and click, I just leave it on fill canvas stretch so that it fills the entire mock-up and then you'll just click start generating. Okay, and so once that has finished, you will have all of your designs mocked up and in your export folder, all of the different um, whatever types of mockups you have chosen to put in there. And this does work if you are doing print on demand or any other type of digital design. Um, as long as it is a smart object, you can place that mockup in here and it will mock it up as well as say the type of shirt that you want to mock up does not have a smart object enabled there are uh, tutorials that he provides that you can create turn any type of jpeg or png into a smart object mock-up and then you can use it on that particular um, design so the next step that i like to do is go into my design folder grab all of these designs and move them over to my export folder. And since they were all named um, appropriately and then they'll, they kind of match whatever it is. So mock up the flat lay and then with my logos. So, and then the design is first. So now that I have them all organized into one folder, this is where I will move over to Etsy and list the products. So once you are in your shop, you can click on this tab called listings right here and you'll want to the way that i have it set up which is what i recommend um, just to be able to do this quickly unless you're using some type of bulk editing tool off of etsy which there are those out there um, it just for me and my purposes at this point in time um, it's just as quick for me to do it this way so what i have essentially set up is in my draft folder a um, design or a type of listing for each type of product that I sell. So 20 ounce four in one can cooler. This is a shirt one. Um, this is for a 16 ounce glass can. This is for uh, 20 ounce, I don't know why I have two. Um, this is for kids and this is for the 40 ounce. So I have a listing already created for each so that I can just quickly come in here and copy it depending on what type of category that I am creating for that day. So for example, um, in this example, I'm doing 20 ounces. I wouldn't be doing 16 ounce glass cans because I won't be able to bulk edit um, the rest of the attributes later when I show um, that in just a moment. So I'll be doing the 20 ounce. So I'm just going to go ahead and click copy and then click my first image and this is where i'm going to go ahead and go to my export folder and i need to grab all three of these mock-ups and i can just remove this little copy me and then this is where i will fill out the actual keywords for whatever this type of design set is which once again, this is why it's really important that I work basically based on the niche or the style um, so that I only have to do this essentially once. Um, and actually I kind of worked ahead of myself. I'm not even gonna change that. So in my, in my drafts, I already, for this 20 ounce, I have the basic keywords that are going to be on every listing anyway, which is just the type of product, all of the different keywords that apply for it, and that's it. So then I'll just go ahead and rearrange these in the order that I like. Here is where I will go ahead and add my file, which is under um, your digital files. And the mockup as well. And then any other files that I'm including since I've already have set this up um, before and copied this, my description is already in place. So you'll just want to create your draft templates like this so that you can just copy them each time and not have to copy paste this in every single time. Your note to your buyers for digital items is something that is set up in your settings. You can see this right here, um, but it just says thank you so much for your order and how to download it. This is where you will change the price since all of mine go in at a set price when they are new. I will just leave that at it as is and change the quantity to 99. 
I don't fill out any of this information. I'm going to go ahead and edit my tags later. And then it goes under the category that you release your digital items under if you have set categories for each or if you have a sales section. And then I always have it set to automatic, which is down here. And then if this is going to be part of my Etsy ads campaign, which I do usually turn them on to begin with, um, that is where you will click that. Um, and that is it for what I need to change for this. And then I will just simply repeat the process by adding in each of these photos and the corresponding digital file and the mockup for each of them. And then click save as draft. So I'm gonna go ahead and upload the rest of these and then I will be right back with you. So I've added in all of the listing photos as well as the corresponding digital files and the mock-up and for about nine of them it took me about seven minutes to upload all of those. So now the next step is I will go ahead and click this little select all button and I will deselect the templates that I have here because I don't want to change any of these. You could just go through and select each of the ones that you want. Um, but then I will go up here and under editing options, I'm gonna go ahead and click edit titles. And I'm gonna go ahead and copy this entire basic um, title that I have with all of my regular keywords. And then I'm gonna go ahead and click reset title. And up here, I'm gonna copy that in. And then this is where I'm gonna go ahead and add in the type of designs that these are. So these are all Christmas designs. So I'm gonna go ahead and add in Christmas. And then the rest of my keyword would be poinsettia. Um, I'm gonna do a little bit more and call this a Christmas. Floral Poinsettia Christmas Tumblr. And then that is going to go ahead and um, replace the title for all eight of those listings. I thought I had nine, but now I'm only seeing eight. <laughs> anyway, hit apply. And that will change all of those titles. So that took about one minute. Then I'm gonna go ahead and go back through and select all of these again. And then I'm gonna go ahead and click on edit tags. And this is just where I'm going to go ahead and add the specific tags for this design, which is Christmas, Tumblr, PNG, add. Well, it's not gonna go ahead, that's a little bit too long. So add Christmas PNG, 
poinsettia tumbler and then hit apply because that is all of mine. I only have three spots left. So that just took care of the tags. The only thing left to do is to select them all again because I do include the um, title in my description. This is not um, necessary and usually not very recommended just because of the way that I do it. Um, but you want to go ahead and find and replace, which will be this first part for me, um, and replace it with the correct one, which is now I messed it up. So because I typed it at Christmas, floral poinsettia, And then I'm gonna go ahead and grab this one and put it in the find spot so that it replaces it with the correct um, title. So that will be it for the description. And then I would finally just click them all again and they are ready to be published. I'm not going to go ahead and publish these right now just because they're not, I'm not ready to release these. Most likely they'll be released next week sometime, but so I'll just go ahead and keep them here in my draft folder. But that is it for my process of listing. As you can see, it only took a few minutes to edit all of the titles, tags, and descriptions. As long as you are um, kind of batch creating, which is what I do, I pick a specific type of style, design, holiday, whatever it might be, and I create that way. Or it might be by category if I was doing glass jar designs or 40 ounce designs. That is how I batch um, update all of my listings and publish them. So hopefully this was helpful and let me know in the comments if anybody has any questions and thanks for watching.